Hello, my name is Rob Schroeder, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Photo Backup Stick. We currently have two versions of the Photo Backup Stick. One is our standard Photo Backup Stick um, that uses a Windows app to backup photos and videos from computers, cell phones, and tablets. And then we have the Photo Backup Stick Direct Connect for Androids, which also contains the same Windows app to facilitate backups of computers um, and phones and tablets, but it, you can also use the Direct Connect app for Androids and bypass the computer and just directly connect the photo backup stick into your Android phone or tablet and backup your photos and videos that way. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do both of those things. A lot of people ask why it's necessary to have a photo backup stick when they can just manually back up their photos and videos from their computer and their phones. And the answer is pretty simple. Answer is pretty simple here. A lot of people just are not comfortable working on a computer, connecting phones to the computer, and backing up the data manually. A lot of people are much more comfortable just running an app and letting the app do the work for them. So that's why we have um, these products, and that's why so many people use them and they're why they're so popular. So first let's talk a little bit about the features. So the photo backup sticks can back up photos and videos from Windows computers. They can back up photos and videos from iPhones and iPads. They can back up photos and videos from Androids and you can do it either using the computer or the Direct Connect method if you buy the Direct Connect version. It can back up the pictures folder from your computer by default or you can scan the entire computer for photos and videos by um, going into the settings and changing where you're going to scan. So you can even actually connect other drives to your computer if you have uh, photos and videos on other drives and it will scan for those photos and videos and back them up. It will not back up duplicates so when you do a backup it will back up all the photos and when you do subsequent backups it will not back up the same photos twice. So it will skip anything that's already been backed up and won't back up duplicates. There are no accounts and no monthly fees. So even with the Android app, um, you don't need to sign up for an account for that. Um, you don't have to register it or anything. You just plug it in uh, and it will work with the photo backup stick. So let's show you how the photo backup sticks work. So first we're going to go through the uh, photo backup stick using a computer. And as I mentioned, both sticks have the Windows app on here, so it doesn't, doesn't matter which one you have. You'll be able to use this method to back up using a computer. And it can back up the actual computer itself, um, from, you know, whether it's a desktop, laptop, or a tablet. If it's running Windows, you can run the app and back up from the local computer. It can back up iPhones and iPads by connecting them to the PC. It can back up Androids by connecting it to the PC as well. So if you don't want to use a direct connect method, you can um, use the computer to back up your Android devices as well. So step one, plug your phone into a Windows computer if you're going to back up from um, a phone or a tablet you can just plug it in and then on your screen you might be asked if you want to trust that computer for um, Apple devices for Android devices if you've never connected to the computer um, you may have to go into the settings and connect it uh, or change it to be a media device an MTP media device just make sure that's checked and then your Windows computer can talk to the device and back up the uh, the photos and videos using our stick Next, plug the stick into the Windows computer and it's going to pop up in this, the folder for the drive. It may not have this visible here, the run folder or the .exe at the end of the file name, doesn't matter if it does. Just double click on the Photo Backup Startup um, app and it will launch the app. The interface is pretty simple. You can start a backup and get into the options, go to the help file or view the about um, information about the app. Now you'll notice here that for view photos it's not active. You can't do that yet because we haven't done a backup. So 
when you click on the start backup, you're going to see the PC is checked by default. You can uncheck that if you don't want to back up from the PC and you only want to back up from a device. Or you can check all the devices you want to um, back up. Now you can back up multiple devices at one time, which is really convenient. Um, and if you plug your device in and it's not showing up on the list, you may need to plug it into another USB port or um, you know, check that it, you make sure that you've uh, trusted the device and then you can hit the refresh button to scan for, for devices connected to the computer again. Down here you can check to, if you want to back up videos as well. You'll want to check that and then you can go ahead and hit the start backup button and it will start to look for the photos and videos and back them up directly to the USB drive. And keep in mind that that can take a long time. If you've got tens of thousands of photos, it just takes a long time to copy that much data to a USB drive. Um, so it could take some, some time if you've got that many photos. But once it's done, you can go ahead and hit close. And then you're going to see the screen where you can view the photos, go back to the, the start page, or exit the app. When you view the photos, it's going to pop up the uh, window where the backup is. And you'll notice that this is the... USB drive and then we're in a folder called backup and it, within that backup you've got the different backups that you've done on the on the uh, different devices and you can click on the those folders and you can view what you've backed up so let's talk a little bit about the options when you click on the options you'll see that you can change where you're going to scan it by default it's, it's just scanning your um, pictures folder but if you select scan another folder and hit the change you'll be able to change where you want to scan you'll also notice that you can change what types of images to scan for by default photos are usually JPEGs but you can also scan for PNG and GIF and then you can choose which uh, video types you want to back up when you're backing up videos and these are the most common video formats that are out there so when you click on the uh, change button to, to change the folder that it's going to scan for you're going to see this and you click on add to add a folder or a drive when you do that it's going to pop up a window like this you can navigate maybe it's on your c drive um, and you can navigate to the folder select the folder and hit select folder but for today i'm going to show you how to just scan the entire c drive so you click on the c drive and you you hit uh, select drive and it's going to add it here to the folders list. Now, you can also manage it. If, you, if you've added something that you want to remove, you just highlight it, click remove, and it will be gone. So that's how you manage the folder list. You can add and remove folders um, as many as you want. And like I, I mentioned before, you can even attach other drives and have it scan for those drives if, as long as you add it to the folder list. So that's how you do a backup using computers. Now for the standard version, those are your only options, is using the, the computer to backup. But if you have the um, Direct Connect version, you can use the Windows app to do it just like I showed you, or you can do the um, Direct Connect method. So it'll back up uh, by connecting directly to your Android device, whether it's a phone or a tablet. It uses the Photo Backup Stick DC Android app, which is found in the Google Play Store. And the app will only work with our certified Photo Backup Sticks. So rather than having to register um, the app for each, each device, it will work with anything that is a genuine Photo Backup Stick. So um, you don't have to even register the app. It's really convenient. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Google Play Store and search for the Photo Backup Stick DC app by Paraben Consumer Software. And once installed, hit Open. Next, you're going to connect your Photo Backup Stick to your Android device using the USB adapters that are included. Now we include um, both the standard uh, micro USB as well as a uh, USB Type C connectors which is uh, shown here so if you're not sure which one to use just check your charging cable and match it up to the two different um, uh, adapters that we include and choose the right one and then connect it to your uh, device 
So next you're going to um, select your options. So this will often pop up. If it doesn't, don't worry about it, but it will ask you if you want to open the photo backup stick when the USB device is connected, when this USB device is connected. Go ahead and uh, tap that to check it and hit OK. And then you'll see the interface. It's a very simple interface. You've got three options for backups. You can start a backup of photos and videos. You can backup photos only, or you can backup videos only. And here's a little uh, a help screen. If you tap that, it will show contact information, how to um, call our support, how to um, email support, or visit our website. So that's just some help, help information. But once you tap the Start Backup, it's going to quickly back up the photos. Um, and again, depending on how many you have, it may take some time. But this is actually a little bit faster than um, backing up through a computer because the Direct, Connect, uh, direct Connection um, reduces the transfer time. So the backup, once it's complete, you hit OK. And then um, you can view your backed up files on your phone or on your computer. So to view it on your phone, you go to the local storage and select the uh, USB storage. And if you've only got one plugged in, which you usually can in a phone, it's going to usually show up as storage a, USB storage A. And you'll notice here that this has the same folders um, that were on the Windows version. You'll see the app here. And then you'll see the backup folder. Go ahead and tap on the backup folder. You can see the backup for this device is there. Tap on that and you can view the backed up photos. So that's it. That's how you do a backup using the photo backup stick, um, both through using a computer or the Direct Connect for Android. For more information, please visit our website at photobackupstick.com. Thank you for joining me today.